Hi there, this is Ralph Angel, Devil Rider Man. Thank you for joining me. I recently went to see Fleetwood Mac and I wanted to do a little review of their concert and also just to talk about them and talk about their recent events. This show was at the Forum in Inglewood, California on Saturday the 15th of December 2018. Way back even before I was born, my mother went to see them play in 1969 in Plymouth Speedway Track, which is now long closed down. Um, it was back in the Peter Green days and they did songs like Oh Well and Albatross and many of those classic early hits that they came up with back then. Since that old lineup, they've obviously been through quite a few changes. They moved to L.A., and then they got the lineup that people most know them for, and that's uh, Christine John McVie, uh, Mick Fleetwood, Stevie Nicks, and of course Lindsay Buckingham. I'm sure you're all aware that Lindsay Buckingham is no longer in the band and has been replaced by Neil Finn from Crowded House and Mike Campbell on guitar, who used to play with Tom Petty. As you would probably expect, they played their hits throughout the decades, from Oh Well to Black Magic Woman, sung by Stevie Nicks, to songs from the Rumours album like Don't Stop, uh, Rihanna, and you know, all the songs you would expect them to play. And I have to say they were absolutely phenomenal. They were an awesome, awesome band to watch. Neil Finn, uh, he was great. He filled in the gap of Lindsay's vocals very well. Mike Campbell, well, Mike Campbell could probably play in any rock band and uh, not just get away with it, but do very well there also. Neil Finn sang Don't Dream It's Over, the crowded house hit, which wasn't my cup of tea, but was very well received and was well done. Mike Campbell sang on Oh Well, and he did a great job of that. And also they did Tom Petty's Free Falling, which was a very touching tribute with uh, pictures of Stevie Nicks and Tom and his band in the background. That was really nice to see. Christine and John McVie were both just the amazing standard that they just are. They were great. Um, it was awesome to see John play his bass line on the chain. I'd grown up with that as a child with the uh, Formula One motor racing music. It was awesome to see that live. Mick Fleetwood has this amazing feisty energy about him. You can see he's enjoying himself so much and that totally oozes out when he's playing. I got a little treat at the end of the video. I get a little jam of him. Uh, he's having a jam with the percussionist. It's great to watch. And he also bounces some vocals to and fro from the audience, which is also fun. And Stevie Nicks, I mean, she's 70 years old. She has the stage presence of a sorceress and a voice that could cut through any mountain. And to go through all that psychiatric treatment, to get away from that psychiatrist, she is an absolute phenomenon. Now, for me personally, it's been a very, very long time since I got into a band. I kind of went... Everything went to digitalized MP3s. It became very devalued to listen to music. It was like, oh, here's a song. Don't feel like that. Okay, flick. Next song. Okay, flick. Next song. And now listening to CDs and listening to albums like I used to over and over again. And I'm absolutely in love with this band. They are a great, great savior for me right now. And when I say that, I don't mean that just as a music listener. Also, as a musician, I've been playing a rockabilly style for about 20, 25 years now, and I've not found anything that I really love, that I want to learn and want to play. Now I'm really so into Fleetwood Mac, I've been learning some of their songs, and you can expect some musical changes out there, so do watch this space. Now, I can see that a lot of people have been upset by the departure of Lindsay Buckingham. Well... What I'd like to say about this is I can totally understand that. I mean, that lineup was there for a very long time and they wrote a lot of classic hits together. But let me say this. I've been playing in bands for 20 years and things change and things happen in bands and not necessarily for the right reason. 
but the show has to go on. You have to carry on. You have to move on. We can never know exactly what is going to happen in the background. We don't know all the details of who said exactly what or who did what. But what we do know is that they are still there and they're out there. Uh, Stevie Nicks is 70 years old and she can still more than cut it. It was amazing. I really thought it was a phenomenal performance by them all. So there you go. I wanted to give my view on this inspirational band. When my mother saw them when she was 13 and 69, they inspired her. A few years later, she was out singing and playing in bars. And here I am in the year, what, 2018, as it was being inspired by them again. Isn't that a phenomenon? Wow. So thank you so very much for watching. Please give it a like if you like it. Do comment. I'd love to know what you guys think. And do share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Okay, well, as I said earlier, I'm going to leave you with a short uh, clip from Mick Fleetwood and the percussionist having a, a good jam. Do enjoy. Have a great day. Let's